Like a tournament to pick for your best result, but he didn't crack the top ten, so this is heady territory. The claw grip in the right hand there of Stuart Ginn. Right to left uh, for Eagle. Very good positive attempt, missing on the pro side. So the tap in birdie, and he moves smoothly to minus two. Par, par, birdie, par. That's the journey that Constantino Rocker has made in this final round thus far. And attacking the pin on the fifth. 424 yards, but downhill, and so doesn't play that distance. Bob Boyd, tall man, over six feet. Over the lake, at the first. You know, Kimmy underwent a bone marrow transplant in 2006, and extraordinarily, six months later, he was back, not just competing, but winning a seniors event in his native North Carolina. Tremendous, and so was that shot. Yes, he's created a great chance for himself now at one under. Trying to hunt down Mr. Gray. Now needs to chase. Doesn't quite get up the hill and therefore filter down towards the hole. Still though, a chip and a putt for a birdie. On the fifth, fast downhill putt here for David Merriman. Level par for his round, not anymore. He goes to plus one. On the fairway, Martin Gray. He's now hit 27 of 29 so far this week. Very accurate indeed. Martin trying to favor the right side here, bring it back onto this green, but it's not listening to him very well. That's okay now. Very long eagle chance from there. Offer him two putts, he'll probably snatch your hand off. I don't think there's any probably about it, especially for a man who finished off last night with a three putt from much closer range. Tremendous backdrop there. Looks like a curtain behind that. Very sloping fairway. Sloping putt as well for Rocker. It's been an oversized hole, that fifth green. Uh, well, what do you think? Well, it certainly wasn't on the back nine for him yesterday. He made three consecutive bogeys from the 14th, so this is a good comeback. Here's the man making his senior debut. Domingo Hospital. Barcelona man. A regular on the European tour for many years. One of the oldest rookies on the European tour, wasn't he? 34 year old when he joined that circuit. Yes, he had third place finishes in the Catalan Open and also the Czech Open. So, a good pedigree. It's going well here too. One under, one behind this man. A bit handsy that one from Stuart Ginn. Usually produces a bit of a turnover shot here, but it's all right. Left edge. He's been so close to capturing a European Seniors Tour title so often. Surely it's only a matter of time before the breakthrough arrives, but we've been saying that for a couple of years now. It was always going to be speedy from there, and look at that, the ball just rolls and rolls. At one point it looked as though it was going to be within four feet or so. More meat on the bone. This is a very important potential nerve settler for Martin Gray. If you can get this close, trundle it down, make your birdie. The others have to catch you. Mentally, he'll be absolutely urging that one on because that's a real knee knocker now. Hospital to start his round with consecutive birdies. Oh, just grazed the left hand edge of the hole. 
so looking forward to this new lease of life that the senior tour brings. And I think he will be very competitive indeed. Still again has played up to here, quite close, but the, this is a our putt needs his full attention. <laughs> Left hand door was open. Stays at two under. Job's chip was swift. This one will need a good tonk. Up the hill, solid contact, and the ideal start. Right. Come on now, Martin. Slightly left to right. Opening birdie. Oh, no. Oh, he hasn't dropped a shot. But it will feel like it. Yes, there have been 92 birdies on this first hole. Collectively from the field this week, Gray has not contributed to that total. Now, can Boyd make the ninth eagle? Never in doubt. I described Job's start as ideal, but that was even more so, if you know what I mean. One hole played, and already Gray's four-shot overnight lead has been eroded. Job and Boyd now trail by only three, while Carbonetti and Ginn have also closed the gap between themselves and the leader of the inaugural Azores Senior Open. More from the Mid-Atlantic after these. in the Azores you must take a trek up the mountains and who better equipped than Bill Lungmuir who struck peak form to prevail at the season opening DGM Barbados Open for him the outlook couldn't be better you know I've not seen many views much better than that and um, the sun's not out at the moment it's a wee bit cloudy but uh, it's absolutely spectacular Bill is an Anglo-Scot and a confirmed outdoors man. His exercise isn't confined to the golf course. I'm a big fan of uh, hiking and uh, I love uh, when I'm in Scotland or Wales to go up in the mountains and have a walk and get the fresh air and it clears the head a bit, especially when you've had a bad day on the golf course. <laughs> there were quite a few of those in 2006 and for the first part of last year as the former number two on the European Seniors Tour, Order of Merit, stayed off the boil. I'd had sort of a season and a half in the doldrums really, you know, from my experience on the Champions Tour, probably tried too hard, hit too many aimless balls, and expected a lot out of my game and, uh, you know, it just didn't happen. And it's taken a while to get over that. But the good times returned last August when Lungmuir outdueled Carl Mason to win the Midas English Seniors Open at St Melian. That was huge for me, probably my best one, yeah. Um, you know, to be behind Carl, and Carl's been in such great form, and, uh, you know, managed to pull off a win, which, which meant a huge amount to me, because my, you know, my confidence level was really low at that time, so, you know, to win when it's that low is, is such a lift. Straight out of the blocks this season, Lungmuir captured his seventh seniors title in Barbados, a closing 65 doing the trick at Royal Westmoreland. The back nine came together beautifully. Um, you know, I, I knew I was playing well. I had a slow start to the tournament and um, things just got gradually better. Uh, and then the back nine, I started hauling a few putts and, you know, five birdies in the last six holes. You, you know, you can't do much better than that. So. <laughs> I was overjoyed. But regardless of results, Bill, in common with so many of his tour colleagues, is grateful for the lifestyle the pro game provides. I love golf, and I think you're, you know, if you ask all the golf professionals, they all are, are very passionate about playing, and they're all very thankful that, you know, we've got some sponsors around the world put, willing to put up tournaments in places like this. That, allow us to get away from those dreary days at home. <laughs>